Hello everyone and welcome to this stream with Python tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn to handle the iframes in detail. So let's begin. First let's understand what are the iframes and how iframe works in terms of the HTML. So for this tutorial I will be using an example of Internet Heroku app and if I go to the main website so basically this is the main website and here you need to scroll down to the frames here click on iframes and here we have an editor now this editor is inside the iframe okay and let me open the paint to explain you about the iframes so whatever you see on the web page is basically consists of an html okay so here if i talk about this whole page consists of html you start with the html and it ends with the HTML tag. Okay. So inside these tags, we we are writing our whole HTML and our whole page is consists of different HTML elements. Now when we talk about iframes, so inside this particular page, if I want to create a section, and that section is basically an other HTML this html and okay so html within the html and also if i talk about this one so this html is basically inside the iframe okay so iframe tag and closing here iframe tag so html within a html to create a section inside a page that's for that particular reason iframes are created okay so based on the same logic so let me go to the browser here and let's inspect this particular editor right click on this one go to inspect here and here if i inspect this particular text area so you will see that there's a html inside HTML we have header body and you see that this HTML is inside a iframe and whole of this is inside the main HTML now what happens is that when you are going to this particular page by default web driver will be focusing on the main HTML okay so in order to work with this particular iframe which is consisting of its own HTML we need to switch to this particular iframe first then we can interact with this particular elements inside that particular iframe right so let me go to pycharm here let me go here create a new file i'm naming it as iframe and first thing is that we need a browser driver so i'll say web driver driver dot firefox and we need to import the Selenium web driver after this i will be maximizing the window using this driver browser dot maximize window and then i will be going to this particular piece so get uh, inside this I need to pass the URL. So this is the URL. So let me copy this one from here and let me pass it here. Okay. And let's try to interact without you know switching to the frame and see what happens. Okay. So when we talk about uh, this text editor, we need to find a text editor here. So text underscore editor. I'm creating a variable and I will this text editor browser dot find element by id and let me import the by here dot id and i need to provide the id of this text editor here so let me go here and if editor so so this is the editor here and the id is this one 
okay so let me copy this id from here and then let me go back here and provide the id now what i will try to do is that i will try to clear the editor because there is some text written over here your text goes here if i start typing so it will be typing from there right so first i need to clear this one then i will type my text here so text editor dot we have a method to clear and after clearing i will be sending a text here using a send keys so my text would be here like this is here with python iframe tutorial okay so we are going to this page and we are identifying this editor clearing this one and sending this text okay uh, now uh, let's run this one and see what happens so it will not be able to find this editor here because it's inside the iframe here okay and we will get some error here see that we got error and unable to locate this id equals to this one so this id actually belongs to this this particular editor which is inside the iframe so this means that i need to identify the iframe then i need to switch to the iframe first okay so i'm creating a variable known as iframe and i need to find the iframe first so browser dot find element and by dot id and let's find the id if there is any so this is the iframe and this is the id so let me copy this id from here and paste it here now i have identified the iframe now let's switch to this iframe so browser dot switch to and switch to dot now where i need to switch to to the alert to the new window parent frame or the frame so i will go with the frame and here i need to provide the value of the frame okay so i am passing this variable here and this variable is actually finding the iframe right now let's run this one and but before that after this one let me put some sleep here so so that we can see what is happening and let's run this one here and see what happens now this time it should go inside this particular text editor and type this thing yes so it cleared this thing and now it has type in this particular editor now the problem here is that we are inside the the frame okay and if i go back here and now this is the element which is which is outside the frame okay so here iframe ends and this is out uh, out of the frame let's find the selector or look at for this one let me copy this one let me go back here and i will say like selenium link giving a name as selenium link and inside this i will be finding this particular link browser dot find element and by dot by dot x path and here i need to provide the value of the x path here okay once i will find this one i will simply go here and click on this one but it will not work here the reason is that we have switched to the frame now we are looking to the html which is inside the iframe so it will work within the frame but it will not go outside the frame and unable to locate this link here this element here okay so if i go back here it will try to click on this one and unfortunately it will not and say unable to locate the element so basically i need to come out of this uh, particular frame so in order to do this 
after typing here, I need to get out of this free. So, is it dot search to dot we have a default content. So, default content means the main content here. Okay. And if I run this one here, now what happens this time? It will click on this link which is outside the frame because we have switched to the main con content, right? Main content is the main HTML here. So it will be able to click on this one. We have put a 10 seconds time sleep here. And after this, it clicked on the particular link here. Now, this time we won't see any kind of a error here. So that's how basically what you need to do is that you need to identify the iframe. You need to switch to the iframe and inside the iframe, you need to find the element and then you need to interact with that particular iframe. Once you have done with your test case or actions in that particular iframe, come out of that iframe and then perform your rest of your actions on different elements. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.